Sometimes a person may be criminally liable for a death even absent the conscious thought of committing murder. After attempting to subdue a rowdy drunk, a man dies of a heart attack, and the drunk receives the sobering charge of voluntary manslaughter in Hubbard v. Commonwealth. In 1947, Robert Hubbard was arrested for public drunkenness. The judge determined that Hubbard needed to sober up before a trial and decided Hubbard should be detained. Hubbard made a scene, so jailer Robert Wesley Dyche and Deputy Newman tried to physically subdue Hubbard. Hubbard continued to resist. After Hubbard hit Newman, Dyche tried to hold Hubbard as Hubbard lay on the floor, kicking. Dyche asked for help. Ultimately, others took Hubbard into custody. Dyche lay on the ground and, quote, rolled and tumbled, unquote. Then, Dyche died. Dyche's death of heart failure occurred about a half hour after the encounter with Hubbard. Doctors had previously diagnosed Dyche with a heart condition. Earlier in the day, Dyche had complained that he didn't feel well. Hubbard was arrested and charged with voluntary manslaughter. At trial, doctors testified that Dyche died of heart problems, but the encounter with Hubbard hurried Dyche's death. Hubbard testified that he was blacked out during the incident. Hubbard was found guilty and sentenced to two years in prison. He appealed to the Kentucky Court of Appeals. In 